Today we're going to be talking about power and how it relates to energy. If you've ever uh, bought a car, one of the things that you're interested in is how fast can it go? And another way of expressing that is, you know, how much kinetic energy can you create in your car? And also a way to think about that is how much work does the car do, right? Because work is the change in kinetic energy. And so when you're talking about a car, often the peak isn't so fat, isn't so interesting, but it's how quickly you put that work in. And this is where the idea of power comes in. And power is defined as the rate of change of work with time. And so this is dw dt. It's how quickly can I add energy to my system. And the units of power are, when you look at the equation, uh, joules per second, right? Because it's energy per time. And so this is so useful, it's given a name. And it's called a watt. And if you've ever looked at an electricity bill, you see that watts come up all the time. So we can calculate this, we can calculate the power produced by something relatively easily if the force is equal to a constant. And so if the force is equal to a constant, then we know that an infinitesimal amount of work is just going to be F, which is our force, dot dS, which is our displacement. And then what we can do is take the derivative to get the power, because recall, the power is dW dt, the change in work with time. Now, if the force is a constant, then the force is just going to be outside of the derivative, and so it's F dotted with dS dt. And if the force is not constant, then you have to use the chain rule. So it's F dot dS dt, and that just means that the power is the force dotted with the velocity. And so that is, um, and so if you're, uh, so it does depend on what direction the force is pointing relative to the, you know, to the direction that the car is moving. And so again, this is for a constant force. We can also break this down into instantaneous force, or I'm sorry, instantaneous power versus average power. And so we can say that the average power would just be the work done over time. And that is just the work divided by delta t. So you can imagine if you accelerated a car over some time delta t, um, it's going to change its energy by some amount. So it would change its kinetic energy by some amount, divide by delta t, and that's going to give you your work. Now, um, one, another way to express this is this is just the force, and this is if the force is constant. It's the force dotted with the average velocity. And again, if the force is constant. And the other kind of for, uh, power that we can calculate is the instant instantaneous power. And that's just written as P. And this is what we had defined up there where it's F dot V.